Hey guys, Devil Slayer here. Don't forget to comment, like, rate, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Please, please leave a like. It really helps the channel out. And if not, just please leave a like. As always, Devil Slayer Productions makes the best videos. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend we play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army! Hang on! I want to get a photo for my scrap- Whoop! Oh. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh no, 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 wait! Wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> It's not just any shell, it's my magic wishing shell! Wow, that's great, Patrick! So we put the toy robots in here... Okay! Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay! Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with! But Patrick... Aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure! Last week I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Meow. Yeah, Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Meow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um... How do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Meow. Give me some credit, Gary. I remember. Press this button to read the sign. 
breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! So much for fixing this quietly. Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble! Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble! We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds! Tragically, we're sure. A note from Mr. Krabs! <sighs> and it even smells sweaty, just like him. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, uh, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Ah, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it! I've got bigger fish to fry! I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots! Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. SpongeBob? This flappin' robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You will? Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you! Try it out! First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and- Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> move to another town. <laughs> I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. Okay, 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 just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. 
I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's your golden back scratcher! Spatula! I don't speak Italian. Well, now, if I could only find my other sock. It's on your head, remember? Well, of course. Now, where did I put it? I have brought you to here to face a great challenge! I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> and his challenge. A huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel! Look! It's a giraffe! Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. The robot better change tactics and fast! I wanna play! I wanna play! Patrick, we're not playing! We're fighting for our lives! I wanna play! I wanna play! Wow, I've never seen such an electrifying match! Oh, that was fun! Your turn, SpongeBob! Oh? Ah. Uh, we. was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more, a golden spatula. And that's not all, a gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you, it all means so much, I... I... <sighs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button, and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember, though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Sandy, your tree dome is leaking! Them there robots busted up the glass, SpongeBob! I got a treehouse chock full of robots and it's all your fault, so get in there and clean up your mess!
Alrighty then, that's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. Wow! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! My heroes! Hit me with a water ball! Hit me, hit me, hit me! Eh, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh! Uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Good be! Hey, Sponge Kid, you really want to help out? Oh boy, would I? Okay then, uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? <laughs> this is a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now, back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild! <laughs> Evil! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Ah! You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes. A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! The Mermelair. Secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. The first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! Gary, I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Meow. Oh, you took the elevator. Well, how do I get to the top of this room? Meow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. Well, the security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah. Well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelair's BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The Atomic oh, Flounder? Oh. 
The dirty bubble! No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn! Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all a mermaid man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink! Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man. No, oh, not again! This is not fair! I got a frozen wedgie for this! Is this the end of Prawn? Prawn is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie! My name's SpongeBob. Here, I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you still here? Ah, uh, SpongeBob, how do I get out of here? Well, that depends. Do you want the booby-trapped or the non-booby-trapped exit? Non-booby-trapped, please. Then go that way. <laughs> or maybe it was that way. Is it the TV repair kid again? Maybe he can rub my feet. Ew. Kid, if I were you, I'd get going. Fast. <laughs> wow, that robot looks like Patrick. And his breath seems just as bad. This day just doesn't seem to be getting any better. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili riano in a pan of grease. We have to help! You're right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert! What should we do? Well, we better figure something out, and pronto! Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob, but it's time to stop yapping and get to it! Yikes! Looks like SpongeBob's in for a rough ride! Oh, and the robot is down! This squirrel too far. Get ready for a hot sponge twister, Texas style. What is Sandy going to do to get SpongeBob unfrozen? The robot better change tactics and fast. Robot punishment. That does it. SpongeBob is back in the fight. And SpongeBob gets a frigid reception from the robot. Oh, that's gonna sting. Thanks for saving me, guys. I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, oh, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants.
I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket Security System. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course meaning you, are gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Hmm, something's fishy here. Bubble Buddy, I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absolutely, SpongeBob. Super Pinky Shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary in attention. When you're not moving, press this button, and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow. Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krab's been overrun by a bunch of them hoodlum robots of yours. They've booted me out! And worse, they've got all me beautiful shiny objects! Defiling the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out, get me back me restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! Phew, you had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. Here, take this as your reward. I don't think he needs a hand. Hi, Gary. Meow? Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done? Doesn't that mean... Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. What's happening, SpongeBob? Hey, Larry. <laughs> This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, 
According to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here. Balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Hey, Gary, what's shaking? Wow! Wow! A bungee jump for a golden spatula! I must be in... Heaven! Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Wow! Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail! Hey, huh? W what? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Hey, SpongeBob! Woo! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! The rock is talking to me. Almighty oh, rock, I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Buddy. Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? <laughs>
so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this? <laughs> ah, Goo Lagoon. A sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. SpongeBob, do I look burned? Well, you do look a little red. Barnacles! That darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no! Everyone will burn, and then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I, uh, can't swim. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Bye! Congratulations, SpongeBob! You're king of the beach! Here, have a golden spatula. SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sandcastle, right! That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. Hello, Gary. What's new? Ow! You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. Ow! And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. Wow! Welcome to the dark depths of Rock Bottom, home of strange creatures and souvenir t-shirts. I gotta say, Bubble Buddy, for a bubble, you really get around. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster. Barnacle Boy! Are you on patrol down here? No, this is my second job. I, I work security. Now listen, if you want to reach the Golden Spatula, you need to shut off the museum's security system. You have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle-free? Pay attention, kid. This is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this robot thing resolved, Shady Shoals will shut down and I'll have to move back in with my son and his wife and his four screaming kids. Now, you see that vent on the other side of the museum? Yes, sir! That's where you exit the museum. Good luck, kid. I won't let you down, Barnacle Boy. I've got my eye on yours, Plankton. 
SpongeBob, I command you to bring Sandy to me for this next job. Plankton, you best not be stirring up no trouble. Nonsense, I only want to help. Help crush you all under my rise to power. What was that? Nothing. Say, see those lasers there? You mean them things that look like fancy washing machines? To your puny brain, I suppose. You'll need to turn on each one of those in order to cross the last part of the Trench of Advanced Darkness. This better not be some kind of trick, varmint. Hey, Mr. Krabs, what are you doing? Well, I could have sworn me I saw a golden spatula here a minute ago. But I think it fell down this slide. Down the slide? It might have broken its leg. I've got to save it. Go, boy, go! Save that poor spatula! Sand Mountain, where sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. Squidward, am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robotness, and now everything is ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation. I've found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal! Hello, my most favorite friend in the whole world. I found another golden spatula for you. Oh, boy! Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm, I suppose you could bungee down. Here we are in the Kelp Forest, an interesting area with many sights to see. For those that don't get hopelessly lost first. Hi, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob, help me find Patrick. I have a task that I think he can help me with. Hi, Mr. Krabs. What are you doing here? Ahoy, Patrick! I'm trying to return three stone tikis to this pedestal so I can get to the kelp cave across that bridge. There could be customers in there! I saw three tikis scattered around this area, but me old brain couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Can I try? Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. There's a golden spatula up there for you if you succeed. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Hey, kid, I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. Sure, Barnacle Boy, what do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals and power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me, it's worth finding these crystals. I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Well then, you rest those super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals. Barnacle Boy, I think I found all your crystals. Now I can see your secret superpower. All right, 
Stand back! <laughs> oh boy! <sighs> there! What happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, well then, uh, I need to return to the normal air and get back to work. <laughs> but uh, here, take this golden spatula and go away. Of course, Barnacle Boy. I'm always happy to lend my services to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> And goodbye. Hi, Mermaid Man. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Kyle. I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals when I came across this vine. In my younger days, I held the all-time speed record for vine sliding. You should try it. What a hoot. And if you can beat my best time, I'll give you another of these gold spatulas. Well, I am a bit busy with all these robots, but sure, why not? It does look like fun. Try not to fall off. Oh, <laughs> yes. Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? It's me, SpongeBob, sir. I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it, get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any questions? Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? No. But if you do this, a golden spatula be your booty. Now get going! Mr. Squidward, swab the poop deck. Yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum whisk to get? That's golden spatula. Whatever. There's one up there. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. Swab the poop deck. Aye, 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 aye. Oh, I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Yes, well, it's a good one, though, eh? Oh, sure is. Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs. We did it! We got your ship back and defeated the robots! That you did! But now that I look at it, I think I'll keep this golden spatula. It's so nice and shiny. It reminds me of my first buried treasure. But what about our deal? Ah, never make a deal with a ghost. Deals don't mean anything to me. Except for that great deal I got on a butter churn back in 1873. What a prize, I tell you. Nothing beats creamy hand-churned butter. Wait just a cotton-picking minute, Butter Boy. We did all that stuff, and you're backing out like a sea weasel. Sea weasel? Ah, them spiking words! If you want this gold thingy so bad, come and get it. You're on. You dirty ghost! Dirty? I'll have you know this jacket has been cleaned twice! Uh, 
everyone stop fighting? I think I have an idea. Here you go. Oh, it looks like my ship. It's even got all the little moon that flies. How thoughtful. All right, you little... All right, you little... Here's the golden spatula. Keep looking for golden spatulas, SpongeBob. I'm sure that my robots out there have some. Hey, you call them your robots. No, I... And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said, Property of Plankton. Well, maybe, but I... And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh! I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm gonna tell everyone. Fine, tell everyone. Be a big tattletale. I'm still smarter than all of you. Flash! Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the chum bucket. Yes, right where you're standing. Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children! And stomp on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom news flash. They serve food here, yes, but they don't serve love. <laughs> Look at that guy, with that big square head and those short shorts. That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen. Wait, that hideous thing looks like me. I always knew SpongeBob would be the death of me. Jump in, jelly beans. A robot SpongeBob. There's definitely something funny going on here. And I don't mean you, something else funny. Oh, Plankton, you're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me all the time! Behold, the Duplicatotron! I registered the name, so don't even think you're ripping me off. With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army of loyal robots that would obey my every command. But they're running amok! I, uh, I forgot to set the switch to obey Plankton! Ugh. But now that Daddy's home, I can fix that! What's wrong now? It should be working! It is working! They're obeying me! I knew I shouldn't have made a copy of myself, but I'm just so cute! You've interfered with my plans for the last time! SpongeBob, meet SpongeBob! Hi, how do you do? Allow me to introduce my friends, Patrick, Sandy. Enough! Prepare to meet your doom! And here we are, folks, the main event! A gauntlet of ever-increasing ferocity! Bubble power! That's the ticket! That the robot's made himself dizzy. The robot's just too big for a direct attack like that. No, you don't to destroy my beautiful bride. We were supposed to get married next week. Did he say married? I'll repair you, baby. Oh, I'm shrinking! No, Patrick. I think the robot is getting bigger! SpongeBob, he just flew into your head! Well, then I'm going to follow him into my head. I mean, into my robot version's head. Which is like my head, but bigger and more metallic. Will you go already? Here I come, Robot Plankton! This is just getting too weird for me.
What'd he do? What? Oh, um, yeah. All my plans ruined! That does it. I'm becoming a lawyer. You haven't defeated me yet. I still have lots of robots all over Bikini Bottom. I'll summon them all, and then we'll see. Uh-oh. I'll destroy you. You'll destroy me. I'll destroy you. I'll destroy you twice as hard. Oh, yeah? I'll destroy you plus one. Well, I'll destroy you plus infinity. Shut up, you stupid robot! Who are you calling stupid? I went to community college, you oversized puppy grinder! Oh yeah? I'll show you! Come here and fight like a monster. Well, Plankton, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I certainly did! Next time I'll get it right! <laughs> Ouch! We won! Who wants to get ice cream? I do! I do! Need I remind you all that there are still robots out there making a mess of Bikini Bottom? Sandy is right. Well, I thought she was a squirrel. I'm being punished. I don't know for what, but I'm being punished. There's still work to be done out there. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy wouldn't stop, and neither will I. We can't rest until Bikini Bottom is safe.
I hope you guys enjoyed your video. Uh, as always, don't forget to comment, like, rate, and subscribe. Please, please leave a like. It will really help the channel out. And don't forget to check out other content on my channel. And if you like what you see, subscribe. Thank you and have an awesome day, guys.